Magnetic Compass. The magnetic compass is one of the oldest instruments installed in an airplane, and in many older aircraft, it's the only direction-seeking instrument. The compass is a self-contained instrument and does not require electricity or any other mechanism to work. To determine direction, the compass uses a simple set of two magnets, each with two poles. The magnets are mounted to a float, so they pivot freely in a line with the Earth's magnetic field. Aircraft compasses are considered wet compasses because their cases are filled with liquid. In this case, kerosene. The liquid also helps to stabilize the magnets and keep them from rocking around too much, especially when the aircraft encounters turbulence. Attached to the float is a compass card which labels all 360 degrees of heading for the pilot to reference. Similar to the heading indicator, the last zero digit has been removed from the label. To coincide with the card is a reference line called a lubber line, positioned in the center of the window so the pilot knows specifically what heading they are flying. You may notice that the compass card looks backwards. In fact, if you compare the compass to the heading indicator, you'll notice that they turn in opposite directions. This is because when you're looking at the compass, you're actually looking at the back side of the instrument, so everything must be reversed. If we start on a heading of north, you can see on the right side the heading 330. Instinct may tell you to turn right to get to that heading, but actually you would need to turn left. As we know, the Earth rotates around the axis formed by the north and south poles. However, this is not the same axis that magnets line up with. Another axis is formed by the magnetic north and south poles. Lines of magnetic force flow out of each pole in all directions and eventually return to the opposite pole. These are the lines that magnets will align with. The angular difference between true and magnetic poles is referred to as variation. Since most aviation charts are orientated to true north and the aircraft compass is orientated to magnetic north, you must convert a true direction to a magnetic direction. The amount of variation you need to apply is dependent upon your location on the Earth's surface. To find what the variation is at any point, you can reference the isogonic lines on a sectional chart. To coincide with variation, we have another error we must take into account as pilots. This error is called deviation. Deviation refers to a compass error which occurs due to disturbances from other magnetic and electrical objects within the airplane itself. Although it cannot be completely eliminated, deviation error can be minimized by tweaking the compensating magnets located within the compass housing. Whatever error cannot be removed will be recorded onto a chart, called a compass correction card, which is mounted near the compass for the pilot to reference. On the top half of the card you find what heading you want to fly, and then look at the bottom half of the heading you should fly to achieve that desired heading. After correcting for variation, the pilot should then correct for deviation to get a more accurate heading to fly. Although you can correct for variation and deviation, the compass is still susceptible to other types of errors which, although predictable, can make it difficult to use. Events such as turbulence, turning, or accelerating can make the compass temporarily inaccurate or even unusable. The compass is normally used as a backup source of heading information while the gyroscopic heading indicator is used as the primary heading reference. If your heading indicator fails and you understand the limitation of the magnetic compass, you should be able to navigate properly. When you are referring to a compass for heading information, remember that it is accurate only when your airplane is in smooth air and in straight and level, unaccelerated flight.